Hey guys, it's Belle, and I am here to show you my Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul so far. So today is only June 7th, and the sales officially started yesterday the 6th. I have been to two store locations so far, obviously on a mission mostly to find 75% off candles, and I haven't been having any luck, but nonetheless, I will show you what I do have. Um, and I probably sound a little funny, I'm kind of getting over like a cold and sinus infection, so I am definitely on the mend, but I still sound funny so <laughs> just thought I would say that but um anyway so my very first transaction I went to the Bath and Body Works location that is closest to my house which is like 10 minutes away or maybe even a little bit less so it's pretty close so when I got to the mall, my regular store location was all boarded up and I was thinking to myself what is going on there was a sign that said, hey, go to this other, you know, location in the mall. We're at, like, a temporary spot. So I went down to the other part of the mall where the store was set up, and it was in a super tiny temporary spot that was basically the size of a Claire's boutique store. And so it was so crammed in there. They were pretty busy, and it was such a small space, and people were just bumping into each other. And it was really hard to shop and find stuff, and it was also overall just pretty disappointing. They had one table of 75% off merchandise, another table of 50% off stuff, then they had soaps in another section, and then they had all their regular body care along the walls like they normally would, like the buy three get two free stuff, and then they did have a small section where the candles were located. So they just didn't really have a lot to pick from, but yet there were tons of people in there and it was kind of hard to find stuff and it just was kind of stressful, to be honest. So I kind of just got a few things and got out, you know, as quickly as I could. And so my very first haul here, I did get two candles. They were 50% off. So they came to eleven twenty five. So I got mocha latte swirl and then I found hot buttered rum, which was the one and only that they had. So I was really happy to find that and even the sales associate was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And she smelled it and she loved it and I was like, well, I'm sorry, that was the only one I saw. <laughs> so anyway, I did get those and then one of the retired body care scents that they brought back for this year is the peony and it smells so, so good. Well, anyway, what I could smell of it because I'm still a little bit hard of smelling if I can say that so um, what I could smell of it smelled super super nice so I had to pick up one of those and then for 75% off I got iced pear margarita body cream and then I also got an iced pear margarita body scrub and I knew that I had already liked this because when they first came out I remembered smelling them and being like oh that smells really good which if you know me I have said before that I'm not a huge fan of pear scents but there's just something about this blend that I really like a lot so I was happy to find that scrub and so for this whole transaction um after coupons let me tell you what I paid so the candles came to well, the one was $7.90, the other was $7.91. It's just the way the coupon broke up the discount. And then the, um, let me see here. Then the body scrub, this scrub, was $2.89. And then the ice pear margarita was 75% off this one. The body cream came to $2.28. And then the peony body cream was $2.64. So that's how my coupon broke everything up. And um, so I was pretty happy with that. I will tell you, though, that I did have another candle in this transaction. And I, at the very last minute, before I was getting ready to pay, I said, I'm really sorry to, to do this to you, but I don't think I want that other candle. And, you know, can I take it off? And she said, oh, sure. And I said, you know, if I can't use my 10 off a of 40 coupon, let me know because I have a 20% off that I could use, you know, because of the grace period. It was still good within that three-day window because it expired on the 5th. So I would have been able to to use that yesterday and she said oh no it should be fine so I said okay you know whatever I paid for my transaction I went out to my car and I thought that doesn't make sense you know what I mean like I don't think I spent $40 I don't know how she was able to give me that coupon and I realized that I didn't spend $40 after I took that candle off and she didn't say anything to me and the computer system still took the coupon so I think that they have a little bit of leeway in there um, with those coupons I'm not telling you to cheat the system but I feel like they they they'll kind of still give you the discount even if you haven't maybe quite spent $40 so um, I was really surprised by that 
because I was, you know, prepared to give her 20% off instead of the 10 off, and she didn't ask for it. She still gave me the 10 off. So that was really nice of her to do that. And um, so, yeah, that was my first haul from the first store that I went to. Okay, so to continue on with my semi-annual sale hauling, I did go to another Bath & Body Works store today, and this store is about 20 minutes away. So I did venture out to that store today, and this is a much smaller store, and it's in a smaller area, so... You know, you're kind of limited sometimes. They don't get as much selection, but then they also tend to not be as picked over, which can be a good thing, which I found to be true today. So if you guys remember my last semi-annual sale haul in like January, I was really looking for a bunch of body scrubs for 75% off, and I literally only found one. And that was the case when I went to the first Bath & Body Works, this iced pear margarita. This was the one and only 75% off scrub they had. And I actually took this off of the display and I said, is this anyone's? You know, I asked the sales associate and she was like, nope, that's part of the display. And I said, I'm taking it. I said, do you have any more? And they said, no. So when I went to the second Bath & Body Works today, they had a lot of 75% off scrubs. So I know it's probably hard to tell, but I did buy five today and the one yesterday. Yesterday, so I did get six of the ice pear margarita scrubs for 75% off in total. So um, with the coupon that I had for today, it brought each of the scrubs down to $3.05. So that was a really good find. Then I also found, um, let me move the camera over. I got some um, watermelon lemonade stuff. Now the body cream that I got was only 50% off. And then I ended up getting some of the mini sizes. So I did get two lotions and two body sprays. Um, one of the lotions was free because I had my little set of coupons that expired on the 5th. And due to the grace period, I was able to get my free item. So I grabbed one of the lotions as my free item. And then I picked up three additional. I got one more um, body lotion and two more sprays because they were marked down um, the travel size stuff. Certain certain items, not all of them, but just certain ones were on sale three for six dollars. So I thought that was a good deal. So Again, the one lotion was free, and then with the coupon, it brought the other three items. They were each um, $1.48 with the coupon, so that was a really good deal, $1.48 for those. Um, I'm going to keep one lotion and one spray for myself, and then I'm going to give a lotion and a spray to somebody I know. So it can be like a little kind of mini gift thing, include it with a gift. And then the very last thing I bought was just this um, kind of like pedestal candle sleeve and this was only 50% off so let me see it was normally what was it normally it was normally 1050 so then it would have been 525 and then with my coupon where is it on my receipt here um I think it brought it down yeah I brought it down to 388 with the coupon so overall pretty good I would say you know it was good for body care I would say I'm not really disappointed with the body care selection because I'm glad that these were like these minis were three for six I thought that was a really good deal with the um, coupon and I was super happy to find 75% off scrubs so um you know, that was a lot more successful, you know, the sale was a lot more successful for me compared to the one in January where I only found one 75% off scrub, so I was happy with that, but overall, I'm pretty disappointed about the candle situation, no really great sales on candles, and, you know, pretty much it's just the typical price, and then you get to use a coupon if you have one, so... Not super happy about that. I know some people I've been seeing in um, Norma's Candle Group on Facebook, um, People, some people have been finding some great 75% off candles and stuff, but they seem to be very few and far, far between. So that's a little disappointing on that end of the sale. Um, and then I have one more thing I want to show you guys, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so here is the last of my Bath & Body Works hauling thus far, and this is an online order, and I only placed this order because people in Norma's candle group, the Candle Dancer candle group on Facebook, people were, were, were like circulating this code in the group, and basically it was sort of a glitch for Bath & Body Works. Um, 
I forget all the conditions. I think that there were some specifications that you had to meet in order to get an item free, like up to $14, but it was glitching, so it wasn't it wasn't making you add as much merchandise as you had to. I think the minimum that you had to add was like $4, something really small like that, and then it would give you an item, um, certain items, up to $14 for free. So um, they had these soaps on sale. They were $3 each, and so I put two of those in my cart, so I was at $6, so I met the minimum, and then I used the coupon code, and certain candles, not all of them, but certain sale candles, would come off as essentially free <laughs> with, with with the coupon code. So it was an amazing deal. I only did one transaction. I know a few people did a couple transactions. The downside was that you did have to pay for shipping. So I paid $5.99 for the shipping. But um, so I paid $3 for each soap. That was $6 plus $5.99 for shipping. And I got the candle for free. So you can kind of look at it as getting the candle for six bucks. So in my mind, it worked out to be an amazing deal. So I went ahead and got this. Now this um, coupon code, I placed my order on June 5th, and I believe that was the last day that it was working. So um, it wasn't happening during semi-annual sale, but pretty much the day before semi-annual sale and a little bit of time prior to that. So it was just a neat little thing that just kind of popped up that I don't know even who figured it out that it was working like that, but I'm very grateful to whoever it was. Um, I know a lot of you out there shared the code and, you know, put tips out there on like the minimum that you had to spend so you didn't have to spend maybe quite as much money and it ended up working out. So I was really excited about it and yeah, so I picked up Heirloom Pumpkin. So I basically essentially paid shipping, which was $5.99. So I will say that Heirloom Pumpkin cost me six dollars and then each of the soaps were three dollars so that was a really like cool little thing to add to my SAS video I wanted to show you and then I also forgot to tell you that um you know they gave me a bounce back coupon it says perfect summer sale and then they're doing free signature item with ten dollar purchase and that starts um July 4th and it runs through the 31st so it's good here coming up in July. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll keep you updated if I do any more semi-annual sale hauling. That's all I have to show you for now, but I hope you guys are having fun, finding good deals. And if you're one of the lucky ones, I hope you're finding awesome 75% off candles because I haven't been able to find any yet. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.